Hey y'all, Clint Seeley here. Um, I wanted to move on and talk about the next couple of features in the file menu, which would be the old print and print preview. Now between the two, um, print preview is what I use the most. <clears throat> if you want to print a design, say something that you've brought up or you've been working on, and you just want to print it out on a piece of paper to see what the design looks like and also have a kind of an instruction sheet or a guide that you would save maybe you know put in your book or something like that or give to a friend if they uh, if say you have an art file and they have a different machine and you save this design as a PES you would maybe want to go ahead and print them out an instruction sheet as well um, if your options are always going to be the same and your settings are always going to be the same for printing, then you could just do a, a pr just hit the print or a control P is the hotkey. Also, you can send the design to the printer just by hitting this print icon right here. I like to double check my design and see exactly what's going to print out. Um, or, ch or, or have the option of changing what options are printed on that piece of paper before I print. So I usually, I would say 95% of the time, I use the print preview function. And then from there you can go ahead and print. Let me show you what that is. So I've just brought up this nice butterfly embroidery design as an example. <clears throat> and say I'm, I, I'm happy with my work, I'm happy where I'm at, and I want to go ahead and print this dude out. Let me show you what the print preview functions um, include. So we go to file, and then print preview. And you're going to get a print preview screen. Now it may not look exactly like this, because I have changed my options. So you can set the options to whatever you like. Let me kind of give you a rundown of those. So from here we hit the options screen. It gives you a dialog box that'll let you select which options you want to print out. I'm printing out an artistic view, which is pretty nice. And what artistic view means is that the stitches, when it's printed out, actually look very similar to real embroidery. If we took the artistic view off, let me see here. It would look something like this. See, it's not a, a 3D look. It's more of a, a commercial look, what you would use in a commercial embroidery shop. I'm a real visual guy, so I like to have that artistic view engaged. And it looks a little more like stitches. You know, it's just more pleasing to the eye. It, it's better. So there's some other information that they include in your design worksheet. Over here to the side, by default, it looks like Bernina's embroidery software is using an isocord thread. Now I can show you how to, at a later time, I'm going to show you how to program a different default thread if you're using Madeira threads um, or any other kind of thread. We can plug those threads in and then when you're previewing the design and when you're looking at your uh, print preview sheet, you can actually get the actual code numbers of the thread printed out right on your sheet. It's a guide that makes it quite a bit easier. Right now it's isocord. If you're using isocord thread, boom, stick with it. It also has the fabric type that you're going to be embroidering on with a little bit of directions of what topping and backing to use. That's very helpful. Now there's, you can choose to print out the sheet in a landscape or a portrait. I like landscape, but if you click portrait, you're going to see it lays it out a little bit differently. Of course, down here you can see page one of two. So you can see that there's two pages. So let's look at what's on the next page. On the next page, it's actually going to also print out the color film. Okay, so we have five different segments to this design. So there's going to be on your home embroidery machine, there's going to be five color changes uh, during the design, as you can see here. Now, if you don't want there to be two pages printed out, no problem, you can just go into options, I believe, and right here where it says color film, unselect that, and then you probably just have one page. Yeah, see, page one of one. People usually like to have a little more information. I do, so on the options, I like to have 
the color film selected. Okay, and you and I like to go to landscape. Makes everything a little bit bigger and easier to read, easier to see. Um, next page looks like that. You can also view both pages at the same time if you want to by hitting the two page and then see here we can see both pages. And once you're satisfied with what your printout's going to look like, you would just hit the print now. You hit the print now and then that should send it to your printer. Or if you have a, a Adobe uh, what a PDF printer, you would then hit print now and it would save it as a PDF document so you could then email it electronically instead of printing it out and mailing it. Whatever you choose. But that's the uh, that's the print and the print preview feature. Kind of neat little features.